Hi, this is Jennifer Heyer, and I want to show you my newest TPT product. It's an interactive flower pot, ABC match, and initial sound sort. The thing that I love about it is that these little flowers can go inside the little flower pots. You can use one flower, you can use multiple flowers. It comes with a lot of components so that you can customize it to meet the needs of your students or kids. Let me go ahead and move these aside and I'll show you the components. Uh, that the set comes with and then I'll show you how to construct these flower pots. You have two different flower pots to choose from. You have some with uppercase letters and some with lowercase letters and then there are four different kinds of flowers. You have uppercase and lowercase flowers and then there are two types of initial sound flowers. For each letter you'll get a flower with a picture or and a flower with a picture as well as a label. So choose which components you want to use and go ahead and print them off. The first thing that you want to do is cut out your flower pots. You'll see the dotted line here. You simply cut around the dotted line and you will be left with something that looks like this. Next you're going to want to fold these flower pots. You'll see that there is a thin solid line there. That's your fold line. Go ahead and fold them up just like this. As you fold them, you're going to see that they're, that the back of the flower pot is slightly bigger than the front of the flower pot. And that is exactly how they were designed, so that's how they're supposed to be. Go ahead and fold the rest of them up and I will show you how to laminate them. Okay, now that you've folded up your flower pots like this, it's time to laminate them. I use a portable laminator, but if you have one of those big laminators at your school, that's great. You're just going to place your flower pots in the laminator the same way I'm placing them into my little pouch right here, my laminating pouch. The important thing to remember is that you need to keep these folded when you laminate them. So I'm going to put these neatly into my laminating pouch. I need to make sure that they don't overlap, that there's a little bit of a space in between all of them. And that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and laminate these and then I will show you the next step. So here's a sheet of flower pots that I have laminated and now I'm going to cut them out and show you how to make little pouches out of them. So I'm going to cut this out leaving a little border of laminate around it. That's important that you don't cut too close to the flower pot paper because that laminate is what really holds it together. So there I have it. This is what it looks like, but obviously I can't put anything in there yet. So I'm going to bring my, I like using a little cutting board so that I don't scratch up my table. And what you're going to need to do is cut a slit in this laminate right where the front of the flower pot meets the back of the flower pot. A couple things that you want to be careful of. Well, first of all, I use a little utility knife or an exacto knife. If you can use the sharp edge of a scissors, just whatever you use, you need to be careful. And I usually take a few swipes with the blade along that little area right there. You can hear it starting to cut. The next thing that you need to be careful of is you want to leave a space here on both ends, maybe about a quarter inch. At, at least a quarter inch that you do not cut because you need something to hold it together. So I just take a couple swipes and I think that, yeah, that's pretty good. So you can see that, let me pick it up here, you can see that I have created this little pouch. So now I can take my little flowers which I have laminated and cut out and they will stick right inside. How cute is that? So I have a capital T for this one. I have a lowercase t. I have a picture of a t -t -t toaster. And then I also have a picture of a toaster with a label on. You can use one flower. You can use more than one flower. However you want to do it. There are some ideas for activities included in the product set. Or you can come up with your own. So go ahead and put this together and have fun with it. I know your kids are going to love it. Thank you. To see more interactive activities for young children, visit me, Jennifer Heyer, at my TPT store or at my website, earlylearningideas.com.